and learning how to downward transition. So learning how to downward transition is the key. So I'm going to use that circle. things we have to do on both sides, so we'll teach him both sides. And the very first thing he needs to understand is we're not mad at him because he does this or that. All we're doing is helping him learn. If your teachers at school were always mad at you and hitting you with a ruler or a stick, you know, or slapping your hands with a book while they were on the desk, you wouldn't want to learn. You'd want to get the heck out of that school. Same with a horse. We want to set it up so they want to learn, not so that they don't want to learn. So allowing them to move their feet, directing their feet, um, doing transitions with their energy, not disengaging. All of those things are things that help develop the horse, help his understanding, help him develop try and desire, but relaxation give you flexibility and access to positions that help him be more flexible. So you can have your dressage horse, event horse, if he had a talent for jumping, jumping horse, whatever it is. So we'll use that, not disengage. So he thinks that every downward transition is disengage. I'm going to say, no, not disengage. Downward transition, not disengage. You got a lot of bother pent up in there, don't you, buddy? Not disengage. That's my boy. Can you slow down and not disengage? Now, if he doesn't or he can't fathom that, then that's one thing. 